Best of three set match, rally point scoring first to 21 in the opening two sets. If we go to a decider of which the last two encounters between these teams have, it's the first to 15. We are ready to go. Players are ready and the crowd are ready. We are just seconds away. It will be Nadine Zumka with the serve. Heidrich Ekbanet. Away we go then with this pool I match from the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships here in the Netherlands. And it's Ferrer and Dupree who have their side out. Ferrer with a nice uh, line roll. No mistake about that. Carry and a double touch, really. And Harvey giving the benefit of that only for a second, but not a good set for Zunka by her own very high standards. Nice little pokey. with the serve. Good up. Better chance now. And well taken, Heydrich puts it away. The regimented uh, policy for uh, the team in red. Heydrich does all the blocking, Zunka does all, does all the defending on the sand, and this is why. Great pickup from Zunka. But uh, it's Heydrich who puts it away. Doesn't get many opportunities to have a swing normally. So okay. pretty much the one player tasked with all the uh, siding out. Being given uh, blocking instructions is Heydrich, line. And uh, what looked like cross court against uh, Ferrer. Yeah! Net touch. In fact, the ball off the block and out. The antenna, the red and white pole is uh, a vertical extension of the sideline, it goes up infinitely. Ball must travel inside it, not over it, out it, outside it, or hit it. As I mentioned, normal tactics tend to go out the window when teams from the same country play against each other. And Heydrich was the target. She just about gets the... Uh, Ball past the block. Zunka with the serve. Yeah! That's a good line shot. There wasn't much room to work with. No side chip switch. There's only one point between the teams, as you might expect. Just getting that one under Heydrich's block. Good work from Ferrer. Plenty of power. High hands D from Heydrich. Can she finish it off? Oh, straight on to Ferrer. The team in red now having to work really hard. And they've been denied. Lovely block by Dupree. It was a nice uh, high hands D from Heydrich, but she couldn't finish it off. And then she was denied at the net. Yeah! 
Oh, good serve. That one dropped wickedly. It caught Heydrich by surprise. And the number 33 seeds find themselves two points in front. That's a good pick up. Oh, it was a nice idea trying to go with a no look cut down to the line. Trouble is, though, if you don't hit through the ball, through the centre of it, that's a good pick up. If you hit across it, which is what uh, Dupree's done, that spin has taken it wide of the line. Some good with the serve. Net touch from Ferret. And Tom Pevich spotting that one. So to the net count. Solid swing from Ferret. I mentioned the two teams have played each other twice before, it's honours even. They played in the Shanghai Grand Slam in 2013. Ferrer and Dupree winning that one, 18-16 in the decider. And then Hydrick and Zumka winning in the Berlin Grand Slam later on in the same year, 15-11 in the decider. We can expect this one to go down to the wire. There's no love lost between the two teams on court. I'm sure they're the greatest of friends off of it. Cross-court block being shown, in fact, jumping to the line anyway. Interesting, Dupree. And a two-point lead that uh, was had by Ferrer and Dupree is quickly evaporated, all square at the moment. Heydrich with the serve. for the lead then for well, the team in red but it's a, a miss hit unfortunately Hendrik had a chance just lost her balance in the air and so uh, a let off really for Ferrer and Dupree Ferrer will serve she's going to serve tough enough or well, she needs to serve tough enough to stop the opponent's going over on two she's done that she's got time to get in at the net but she can't make the block against Hydric. And the pattern beginning to emerge now that Heydrich is the uh, recipient of most of the serves from uh, Ferrer and Dupree. And for uh, Simkur and Heydrich, they're going after Isabel Ferrer. And it pays dividends that time. That was a wicked serve, wasn't it? It came right across Dupree and into Ferrer. It was a little late to react, didn't have a wide enough base to pass the ball from and didn't get her hips under it far enough either. And that meant that angle just took it away completely from her playing partner. Oh, that's good work. A worrying moment there for Isabel Ferrer off the pass. He can, oh, no, I've done it again. But great rescue from Dupree. And then Ferrer makes up for it with a great spike cross court. from Zumka. Oh, that's good play. And once again, the 33 seeds force the issue, get a couple of points and move in front. Lovely block from Dupree. Using all of her uh, six foot one at the net to good advantage for her now with the serve. Just play. So hit the technical timeout. And 
it's a close first set between the Swiss compatriots as we have a look at that cut from Heydrich. Just the one point separating the two of them. Both teams are very active on the world tour. And it's certainly uh, for uh, and Dupree, who actually, despite being seeded 33, have had uh, the best finish so far with a fifth in St. Petersburg this year. The best that uh, Heidrich and Zimker have managed is ninth. They had that at Porec and Stavanga. They were 17th at St. Petersburg. And uh, for Ferrer and Dupree, they get to come out of the qualifiers this season. As we look at some of the action from the super slow-mo. So if you want to get involved, you can do Twitter being the social media vehicle that it is. Hashtag FIBB World Champs. If you want to see what's going on, head over to the FIVB website as well for all live scores and uh, action and reaction from around the four venues here in the Netherlands. Appledorn, Amsterdam and Rotterdam, the other three venues in operation, all with matches going on during the course of the day. Every team feeling like they're the uh, focus of attention because every game is on centre court. Zumka. that side line that's really well played wasn't it always difficult when the ball hits the top of the net like that it can force it uh, the angle changes it moves the arc but Lynn did right on that line yeah. this will have to come over as it hit the block Unfortunately, for Dupree, with her back to the net as the ball came to her, then having to twist and turn in the air, lost sight of the court, putting too much on it. It's one of the disadvantages of the block counting as a touch. The team was uh, unable to put the ball away because Dupree had made a touch in the block, but then they're unable to capitalise because they've only got two left to play it over. Trying a double bluff, it didn't work. And Zunka comes up with a lovely angle cross court. All the action being played within a very small area, wasn't it? Within a few meters of the net. Nice pick from Zunka. And a lovely cut. Good leave. Just uh, probably heard the ow, oh, not sure it was going to be out. I'm pleased that it actually uh, ended up being the case. So each time, Dupree and uh, Ferrer have got in front. Hardrick and some could have uh, clawed it back. And as yet, Hardrick and Zumka haven't been able to develop any lead of any note of their own. Solid swing from uh, Isabel Ferrer. Changing their tactics now, going after the taller player. Not really working, is it? Good serve. And again, Ferrer and Dupree move in front. Very tentative play from Zumka. It was always going to be her ball. Hydrix in that situation, the playing partner to tell you to play it, it can help. Nice play from Zunker, forcing the other team really deep to give themselves some time to reset, but 
it was to no avail and a two-point lead for the third time and two points from serve for the third time has happened now for Ferrer and Dupree as we have a look at the replay Ferrer putting it right into the corner and a timeout called by the uh, number 16 seeds Confirmation of the score so far. Taking a selfie. It's another testing one for Heydrich and a chance now for Ferrer to put her team further in front and she's done it, thumping spike from her, you really do have to force yourself to get up and hit the ball hard on the beach at times. It's very easy because uh, you jump in just to put a roll or a cut and she knew she had no block and she's thumped it. Great swing. tight to the net's a chance now for Zumka. Oh, nearly picked up by Ferrer, who went the right way. But definitely, the team in white are in the zone here. Zumka working hard, and it was almost picked up, wasn't it, by Ferrer. Zumka trying to get Heydrich going. They need some points. Oh, well done. Well, there's a chance to go straight back over for Zumka. She's taking her time, but it doesn't matter. They put it away. I know one player who would have played that straight back over, short over the net in that situation. I'm not sure many of you who watch know who I'm talking about. I refer to Laura Ludwig. And Zumka still getting the job done by hammering it away cross court. Oh, would you believe it? They get the lead, they let it slip, they get the lead, they let it slip, they have the lead again, and they're letting it slip. And now timeout called by the team in White Ferrer and uh, Dupree going back to the bench. Uh, in this pool, we have a look at some of the action from the super slow mo. Fernanda Alves and uh, Tiana Lima from Brazil are here, seeded nine. And uh, Palesa Sekoniana and Randy Williams from South Africa, seeded 40. This 48 team competition will see. Uh, Pool play across the uh, pools, and then the top two go through from each of the pools with the best third place to finish team to have our first knockout round, a round of 32. And that gets halved all the way down until we get to the final. Heydrich with the serve. Oh, it's a great serve. 
And just like that, they're back on level terms again. It looked as if Foray and Dupree had the initiative, they had the momentum, but they've switched off. And now they find themselves right back in the thick of it from that ace serve from Heydrich. Zumka was there, just didn't back herself to reach for the ball. Frustrating as a blocker when you see that. You've done your bit, turn around and see your teammate not put a hand out. Zumka did apologise. Good up. Well, that's on uh, net touch given against. Uh, Zunka, she can't believe it. She'll be asking what touched. Maybe it was her ponytail, in which case she wouldn't have known. Up with the swing. Then she comes. Well, there was a net touch, but who did it? Yes, it was a net touch. Brilliant call from Anton Pevic. Unfortunately for Zunka, her shirt touched the net. Well, you can play high hands defense, but the ball has to be hard driven. And the fact that it came off the net and it became just a top spin roll meant that that uh, attempted play was a double touch. hit the block, Heidrich, there's a good position to have a swing and she puts it away, going over the top of Ferrer who was caught in the position of having to block and she's a defender. Dupree, out of nowhere, didn't know what to do. And we're now 20 all, so the first to get two clear will take the set. play off the block and out set point for Ferrer and Dupree now Ferrer has got a decent float serve on her maximum concentration required for Zumka well, there's a chance here Ferrer for the set good art from Heydrich but the unforced error means the number 33 seeds, Isabel Ferrer and Anouk Dupree take the opening set. They draw first blood here against their compatriots. Lovely pickup from Ferrer. And then Heydrich trying to make something happen under pressure. All she did was damage the net. It's Ferrer and Dupree who lead by one set to love. Well, on balance of play, you have to give it to uh, Ferrer and Dupree. They uh, certainly engineered more points from serve than the other team. And in the end, they managed to get it done. Psychologically, though, still a long way to go. Both teams know that. And I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm sure those of you that follow the team wouldn't be surprised if this one goes all the way. But it is initiative to Ferrer and Dupree. They have the chance now to win in two. Here are the highlights. Some statistics for you. Top line's the only important one, really. Zuko and Heydrich making a couple of blocks. Away we go, then, with set two. Zumka with the serve. Ferrer, the likely target. She has been throughout the match so far. Little change-up, though, going after Dupree. And Dupree with a very delicate shot just past Heydrich's block. 
Side out achieved. Nice swing, Zumba's got plenty of power. Oh, great pick up from Ferret. Oh, that's a shame. The Lions judge had a good look, couldn't make his mind up, but it's right under Nina Hobby who decided it was out. No complaints from Ferret. This is a lovely pick up. And she was unlucky, really. The ball has to hit that line, and it didn't. Well, it was pinballing around, wasn't it? All that spin on it came off Zumka straight back over again. Well watched by Dupree and a good finish as well. That spin, there's nothing much Zumka could do. Couldn't control it. Lovely pick up, but didn't quite make it back to her playing partner. Desperate attempt from Zunker, keeps it in play. Ferrer has a look and sees the cross courts available, takes it. Ferrer Dupree moved two ahead. Well, the fact that Zunker went with her right arm meant it was never going to come back towards Heidrich. And the initiative stayed with uh, Ferrer and Dupree. They've got that two point lead, they had that on several occasions in the last set but blew it however Heydrich with the unforced error that puts massive pressure on Zumka and her now and at the end change the first end change of the second set a three-point margin for the team in white and unsurprisingly Zumka calls a timeout she can see where this potentially could be going if they can't stop the rot soon Another error from Heydrich, and not surprising that uh, Ferrer went straight back to her after her last error. That's better. Ferrer certainly enjoying the moment, isn't she? And uh, taking it to Zumke and Heidrich. She's the uh, elder stage person. Uh, 33 years of age, 10 years uh, older than uh, Heidrich. Three years older than Zumke. Still mixing it and showing she's more than capable of playing. Nice side out from uh, Heidrich. Yeah. 
Oh, that's really well played. Dupree seeing that Heidek had broken to the line. And not only playing it onto her, but putting a spin on the ball, a side spin, which is the, th the key. It makes it that more difficult to play. going to go the way of uh, Ferrer because Zumka played this ball into the antenna first in fact outside the antenna it ultimately couldn't get enough on it change ends it's looking really good isn't it for Ferrer and Dupree here to hold on to this lead and get this one done in straight sets it'll be their first straight sets victory over their compatriots they lead the series 2-1 in the head-to-head -head. the other matches have been best of three gone to the wire Dubree deep and it's an unforced error from Dupree hitting the ball from uh, away off the net just slowly some Kurt and Heydrich creeping their way back into this one potentially that one didn't find the baseline it's a good tactical change from the team in red they started off with Ferrer and now they are going after Dupree it's brought them two quick points oh it's brought them another one time actually coming from Dupree and Ferrer and indeed it is well, they struggled in the first set to hold on to their lead. They kept establishing them and then letting them go. Eventually, they managed to take it 22-20. They've built up a massive lead here of uh, what was four points, and they've let that slip to two. Four points in rally point scoring is huge because even when the team sides out, it only brings them back to three. That means they then have to win three points from serve just to get level. And with the ability of these players at this level, that doesn't often happen. But I think for for Aaron Dupree, they must have thought that this one was probably done and dusted. They've just let their foot off the gas a little bit. Dupree, in particular, lost her focus as we look at the some of the slow mo action. Hence the timeout being called for for Aaron just to uh, let her uh, playing partner know. Look, come on, back in the game. There's a ten-year difference between the two of them, and for Aaron, very much the uh, mother figure in the team oh good up I must have just clipped the block because Hydrix played it back over instead of giving it to Zumka Zumka's in the right place again good read from Ferrer excellent rally Hiring rally. Third time lucky, maybe, for Zumka. Oh, it is. It wasn't hit hard. It was tantalizingly close to Dupree, but she couldn't get it because she was still moving backwards. And it's another point for the number 19 seeds. And despite the best efforts of Ferrer and Dupree, they couldn't get their side out. And now Zumka and Heydrich find themselves only one point behind here in what is a must-win set for them. Heydrich serve. And the 
they just let Dupree off the hook big time. And they feel that is a huge let off. Hendrick still looks to be huffing and puffing a little bit after that rally. That's a great chase, but it's not going to come back. And I think so too. Zumka still breathing heavily. Well, volleyball's an aerobic sport, but generally the activity is uh, maybe a couple of touches, maybe one period of transition. And that last rally was an energy zapper, and certainly Zumka and Heidrich are feeling it. Fortunately, though, technical time, that means they can both have a breather now. And there's Spikey. He's the mascot for the World Championships. Here are the points run so far. Look at that. That's incredible. Four points in a row from serve to get themselves right back into this one for Heidrich and Zimke. After uh, Ferrer and Dupree had had a decent run of points themselves. Back out, ready to go again. Dupree with a serve. And they backed it up with a point. Too close to the net. And Dupree taking full control. And it's another point. Oh, what a topsy-turvy second set we have been witnessing here. Some cut. Going with the uh, wrong leg, really, unable to contain the ball. Putting her right leg in front, playing the ball to her left, completely off balance. All right, she's playing tennis, but not for volleyball. Ferrer just about gets something on the ball. And it's blown out from Heydrich. It didn't catch the block. Heydrich saying that she feels that ball had caught the antenna or was outside it. Or maybe it was a, a f an illegal attack from Ferrer. Anything, really. She's clutching at straws, isn't she? Because she's making errors. bringing uh, Zumka in but she managed to get out side again give herself a little bit of room but not enough room to go down the line unforced error from Zumka shake of the head from her cheap point for Dupree and for her who are now only a few points away four required to win this match that'll be a massive boost for them towards making the knockout stages. Ferrer a little bit unhappy with herself as that one goes to the baseline. That's her responsibility on the line roll. Thought it was going to go long and then had to think again. Zumka. Good dig. Another chance for Dupree. This time a better dig from Zumka, read that beautifully. And hammers it away straight into Ferrer. That's better from the team in red. They just haven't done it enough. They held in there in the rally, and then Zumka with a chance for the swing takes it.
Nice use of the pokey. It was uh, shown very early. The hand came up to show there was not going to be any spike. But some could already off and running down the line. You can't guess. No power coming. There's always going to be a chase. Some could in the wrong place. And again, it's another pokey from Dupree. And another point for her and for that. And they're now two away from victory. That's better. The hydrant has power, just hasn't. Used it enough today, hasn't had the opportunity really. It's been great play and good tactical play from Ferrer and Dupree. Well, they had a, a four point run already in this set. They could do with another one here, that would make things interesting. But the ball goes off the block and out of play away from Zumka over her head. And it's now match point then for Ferrer and Dupree. Confident swing from Dupree off the block. Deep breaths from Dupree as she sets herself. Zimka keeps her and Heidrich in the match with that side out. But what an opportunity now for Ferrer and Dupree. Seven chances from side out to win the game. It'll be Dupree will have the swing for the match. And she's done it off Heidrich and out. And the number 33 C's have beaten their compatriots. And they've beaten them in straight sets. First time they've done that. Well played. Isabel Ferrer and Anouk Dupree. This is how they did it. Dupree taking on Heydrich's block and beating it. Agonising look for Zimke, and she was nowhere near it. Delight for Ferrer and Dupree. Well, perfect start to their World Championship campaign. Opening match, always going to be tricky, especially against their compatriots, even more so. Here are the highlights. Well, Tim Simmons is down on centre court. We'll get to up with him in just a second. Let's have a look at the stats from the match. A couple of blocks. It was pretty topsy-turvy, wasn't it? Could have gone either way, but in the end, Ferrer and Dupree took the initiative. And they're down now on centre court. Let's hear what they have to say. Anouk, very good, very close. First set, 22-20. What was the difference in the second set? I think we knew that we have to put more pressure on the serve. And uh, we did it, and I think that was the big difference in the second set. Izzy, it's always tough to play another Switzerland team in the pool play. Yeah, for sure. Um, but actually, I prefer to play them in the pool play so we can't meet them afterwards or only later on. Yeah, we know anyway. If we play well, we're going to beat them. If we play bad, we're going to lose. So that's life. <laughs> and you're coming in with a lot of confidence. You guys placed fifth in St. Petersburg coming into the World Championships. Yeah, for sure. It was a long travel, long tournament over there. We loved it anyway. And uh, yeah, of course, it gives us a lot of confidence. And we're happy to finally compete again and yeah, at the World Champs. Well, congratulations and good luck in your next match. Thank you very much. Thanks.
Well, congratulations indeed. Great result for Dipri and uh, for, uh, for us, though. That concludes our transmission. We hope you enjoyed the volleyball. Plenty more to come today. But for now, though, from all of us here at The Hague, it's time to say goodbye.